So I decided to make a short video on the things you can do the first day in All Out War. So let's start with the top left corner. And here we have faction quests. So basically there are four things you can do the uh, first day to gain these contribution points. Firstly, you can either build uh, the construct the wagons. Those will grant you points. The second option would be if your faction is building uh, some structures, you can participate in building those. You can also gather resources. The resources available for gather is wheat, brass, silver and obsidian. I will talk about those later. And finally, there is rebuilding the villages. And uh, all of these have separate meters tracking the progress. And if you purchase the 100 black diamonds pass, then maximum is 2200 points you can gain per day. And for these, you have the contribution shop, which is divided into two sections. There are daily items that will reset each day. And then there are half month items that you can buy basically twice per all out war. So that's about the contribution points. Then we have the world progress menu. This will show the overall progress of the All Out War event. And you have also faction target where you have different goals for your faction you need to reach in order to gain some rewards. So those are good guidelines on what your faction should be doing. Then we have a separate uh, supply shop where you can purchase uh, items with other uh, alliance resources or uh, blue diamonds. So those can be found in here. So uh, if you look at the main city, uh, we have building armory. And in the armory, you can uh, see that there are production queues, like what uh, wagons your alliance is building. Then you have individual garage, where you can see your own wagons that you have been given. Faction garage, where you can see the whole total amount of wagons for your alliance. And then in the last menu, you can see everyone who is requesting uh, wagons and alliance officers can grant the wagons for their members to gather resources. So logically, what do you want to do with the wagons? Well, we on the bottom right corner, we have city info button. If you click there, you can see all the cities you can control. This is the main city. And if we scroll down, you can see that main city only has weed gathering fields. And uh, they are in here. And if you click on the building, you can see that, for example, this weed field only has six players gathering at the moment. So you can send your gatherers there. If we go back to city info and we pick small industrial city in here, you can see there is brass mine, silver mine and obsidian mine. So those will be different and they are always located outside the city. Something to note is that level one wagons only allow you to gather wheat and also brass. If you want to gather silver, you need to have level two wagons in order to collect silver and level three resource wagons are needed to collect obsidian. So those are something to keep in mind that your faction is going to need the resource wagons in order to co collect all the resources. And of course, building those uh, wagons is going to require resources to be gathered by your alliance. Then the next building uh, we have is warehouse. And warehouse fact, uh, works in a way that if you are gathering with your troops, if you let your troops gather all the way, they will automatically move to warehouse and then will deploy all the resources in the warehouse. But if you cancel it yourself, then you need to walk manually over to warehouse. And when you're next warehouse in the bottom right corner, we have uh, this button that uh, shows your supply management or shortcut for is the X button. When we click the X button, so if we click the X button, it will open the warehouse management. And in here, if your deployment is carrying resources, then the slider bar uh, will have some resources selected in here. So what you need to do is you need to drag it all the way down so that it shows troop capacity being zero. And when you hit confirm, then it will automatically take all your resources away from you and deposit them in the warehouse. But if you 
want to take resources from warehouse, then you need to select what material you want to have. And then when you hit confirm, then you will be taking from the warehouse those resources. So that's something good to know about the warehouse part. And uh, lastly, the building uh, is barracks. And barracks is the only place, like if you want to change your commanders or your wagons or something, you need to walk next to barracks. Uh, in order to change any of those. So if we move over here, then we have the button C, which says disband troops. And when you press that, it will disband your deployment and then you can reset every time. So basically barracks is to configure your commanders and your troops. Warehouse is for the resources and the armory is to construct the wagons. So basically now that only the uh, two buildings per faction has been opened. The first three days you will be preparing for the following battles. So try to gather as much as you can, getting the resources for a faction so that you can build more wagons uh, that will prepare you for more resources and battles that will come in few days. And uh, also I suggest you to aim getting the maximum uh, contribution points per day so that you can buy stuff in the shop in here. So basically that's my s short summary on start of All Out War and hopefully this will help you understand what you're supposed to do in the first few days of the event. Thank you and see you in the next video.